currently practice obviously is impossible. So what are the Warriors doing um, to prepare during this separation? Well, Jennifer, it, it, the, uh, the suspension came at an interesting time and it really made a difference depending on where your team stood in the standings. So mm -hmm. I've talked to some of my fellow coaches who are uh, coaching teams that are right in the thick of the playoff hunt and you know they're trying desperately to stay in touch with their their team and and some of them are even doing uh, group workouts on on zoom with their uh, their training staff and uh, they're trying to find hoops for their players to to shoot at uh, you know where they're they're able to do so uh, it's different for us because you know we were down to 17 games but we were out of the playoffs mm -hmm. and it feels like the end of the season for our team it's just and it just does. And we don't know anything officially. Uh, there's still a chance the league could ask us to come back and, uh, and play some games. But given what we went through this season with all the injuries and the, the tough, uh, tough record, uh, it's been more of the case of, you know, we're staying in touch with guys, but everybody is just sort of assuming that, you know, this is, this is kind of it. We're not going to be involved much anymore. So then in a weird way, not that you would consider this a blessing at all, but this probably does feel like the off season. Yeah, it, it yeah. feels like the off season. In fact, we had a, a Zoom call, Bob Myers and I got on a Zoom with um, our players, our whole whole roster last week. And it, it was <clears throat> just a chance to check in, but it was also a chance for Bob to update the players on uh, his contact with the league and, and the latest news. But it also kind of felt like our annual team exit meeting. Yeah. And um, our coaching staff and I have been undergoing um, staff evaluations, uh, off-season plans. So we, we are absolutely in, in off-season mode right now. Okay. 